Okay, we're back for case two. Um, Star Wars Finest, just released. Sponsored by Blue Out Cards. Uh, case one was pretty rough. Not gonna lie. Let's hope that case two proves to be a, a little bit better. Here they are in all their glory. You know what, just to get this all out of the way first. At least pull the mini boxes out. So is it all the same guys back with us for case two? So who has uh, who has the first pick in case two? Uh, did you? I saw you were you sold your two picks. I thought I remember seeing you. Uh... Okay. That must be why, uh, right when I got out of the first case, I saw, I got a notification that Flash, uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel, so I guess that's why, <coughs> excuse me. Was Flash in the break to begin with? Okay. A couple take a minute now and make it a little bit easier on myself down the road. Medallion right on top. There's a gold Ventress, numbered out of 50. I didn't know she had a curved hilt. Oh, and then 
base autograph of Kit Fisto. Chewbacca from Solo. Here's a blue of Darth Vader and a battle droid from the droids and vehicles. <laughs> I was going to say something perverted, but I kept my mouth shut. A base of Zam Wessel. And a gold of 8D8. Numbered out of 50. General Draven and Margo. Uh, okay. so, no, it's just a base. Magna Guard. Chief Chirpa. And here's our Hermione Corfield. And this is numbered out of 99. So our refractor. Range Trooper. Blue Dengar. And C2, whatever, whatever. Green Boba Fett, numbered at 99, and Shock Trooper. I hope not. Pow and Moloch. to D2 and a droid. No, uh, no medallion in that one. Looks like there's one in this one now.
<clears throat> yeah, <laughs> you must have came on late. Yeah, Ab City apparently is how you pronounce it. She should be ridiculed. I'm sorry, that's just ridiculous. Uh, do, do Anakin. It's a base. There's a green of young Luke and Val from Solo. Tell you what, I was made fun of because my name, you know, when I was little, wasn't common. And, uh. <laughs> yeah. A blue Imperial Guard and a droid. But I was like, I think I was named after some like distant family, some distant relative or something. Uh, but but anyway, I tell you, when I was younger, before people stopped, I wished my name was like John or Steve or something. Uh, here's a Rogue One, Moroff Gold. I mean, that parent is just, they, they do that because they're just looking for attention. I mean, I have no idea what that woman looks like, what her nationality, race, creed is. I just know that she's dumb. Two tubes and Amelia Clark. Yoda and a droid. All right, just because in the first box the hit was on top. Dryden Voss, and this looks like a gold. It is of Uncar. I thought there was two cards stuck together there for a sec. <coughs> Blue Maz and a droid. You know, Russell, I completely missed that you just said that. Green of Holdo and a base refractor of Luke. Jin and a Mimbin Stormtrooper. Uh, one of the droid cards. Base autograph. Who did we get here? Ian McElhenney. Speaking of Ian's.
When my wife and I were trying to pick out names for our kids, I just made it a point to go over with her. Every name she came up with, I would try and make fun of it. So she could understand. Because I knew what it was like, but she didn't. Her name's Jessica, so it's got a pretty, pretty basic name. My kids, my son is Jake and my daughter is Mia. And it's not Jacob, it's just Jake. We got a gold Darth Vader for our hilt. Yeah, I don't even remember the names my wife wanted to, what other names she had. Margo, looks like the golds are going to be a pretty decent lot here. Uh, Kylo Ren. And then it, and then it ends up that, uh, there's, uh, I'm assuming he still plays. It's kind of hard to get offensive lineman, uh, information, but there's a Jake Fisher that plays for the Bengals. Blue Sakura and a droid. That's why in my signature I have that I, I PC him. The only thing is he's only has three cards. So it wasn't very hard to have a master collection of uh, Jake Fisher. I actually found a Jake Fisher, a minor league baseball player, who had like one card, some autograph card, but I didn't bother. Uh, Orange Luke, 15 to 25. Uh, I think is our first orange of case two. Uh, was that the one with, um, oh God, what's his name? It was the guy, he, he was the voice of, uh, Marshall Dillon in the Gunsmoke TV shows. I'm drawing a blank on his name. He was the fat man. Yeah. Uh, Andor and Weasel. Uh, it's going to kill me that I can't think of his name now. Green Zuckus. And a droid. I do remember that show, though, by the way. I feel like that was him. I mean, I might be getting it mixed up, because I know... Uh, there's our sketch. Is that a... Oof, I don't know who that name is. Base Mon Mothma. I, I think I might be getting my shows mixed up, though. While you're looking it up, Russell, look up uh, who was Ironside. Okay, yeah, William Conrad. That was definitely... That's him. He was the voice of Matt Dillon in the old Gunsmoke TV show. I mean, a uh, radio show. Philip somebody... Kind of looks like it says Zito on the back. There's a Trujillo. Hmm. That's the only name that can make sense. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, because they... Um, he had a great voice, but they couldn't use him for the TV. Oh, forgot the whole second thing here. 
They couldn't use him for the TV show because he was too fat. He didn't look like what Matt Dillon was supposed to look like. Some, you know, big towering guy. Not a fat dude. Captain Rex, base, and a droid. Here's a black and Moloch. This black looks a little bit better than the Lando one did. So was uh, was William Conrad also Ironside? That was a little bit of an older show. That's I want to say that was like mid seventies. Here's a blue Kui Jin. And another droid. Green Darth Maul. And base of some cartoon character. More off. And Chewbacca. Okay, Raymond Burr. I knew it was a bigger dude. Do this now before I forget. Taking the top pack and putting it off to the side. Because the hit's been the top pack in this case. There's a base of Kit Fisto. Base card, and we got here Watto. <clears throat> I don't know if you have the same channels where you are, Russell, but uh, uh, it's just that's just a base card with a a dent in it, and of course it's under the the coating. Uh, Enthis Nest. But there's so many cable channels that play old shows now. I never get a chance to really watch TV, but when I do, I enjoy watching them. I just wish there was a couple of shows I really want them to bring back on those channels that I never see. We were talking about it when we were doing the uh, Pop Century break, I think. But like Lee Majors, you know, forget the six million dollar man. I want to. I want the Fall Guy to come back. Here's a gold of Yoda, and this is uh, not cartoon Yoda. And that's just a fingerprint for me. There's a smudge over his head. I think that's just a fingerprint. Yeah, I've been trying to, well, I just don't get the time to watch in the first place, but if the Fall Guy was on, I'd watch it. Darth Vader, this Rogue One Darth Vader, and Tobias Beckett from Solo. <clears throat> Well, the fall guy was Lee Majors, and he was a stuntman. And uh, it was him and uh, a base 
of Cartoon Anakin and a droid. And uh, Heather Thomas. Oh my goodness. She was a beautiful woman. Another gold. This is uh, definitely a gold heavy case. Obi-Wan from uh, New Hope. But, I mean, I haven't seen Fall Guys since it was out. You know, like on TV back in the mid-80s. So, since you have season one, Logan, help me out. Did he have like a, a sidekick? There's a blue Luke. Go there, another droid. Like, I just remember... Yeah, you know, I was kind of the same way. Here's a green of Admiral Piet and Old Man Obi-Wan that we just pulled a gold of. That's the base refractor. But you know what it is, Russell? It's the whole nostalgia thing. Cheer it. And L337. Is all that stuff you watched when you were a kid that you thought was the greatest? Turns out... There you go. Turns out that it all sucked. Maul? I don't know who that is. And a droid. <clears throat> Tell you what, when I was a kid, I used to watch uh, a Japanese show. It was called Johnny Sacco and His Flying Robot. Sketch, Zuckus Space Autograph. And on one of those channels, they brought it back. And I was, I can't believe they brought it back. I recorded every episode. I go and I sit down to watch them. It was the biggest pile of crap. Robert Hendrickson. This actually is a really nice sketch. Let me uh, get in here so it focuses. You have to appreciate the line work on this thing. All right. That, by far, is the best sketch we pulled. Yeah, some things t uh, stand the test of time. Like, I, like, I'm afraid to watch some stuff. You see, well, Zine is a little bit... I mean, I remember the show. I never watched it, but it was... I was too... I was older, so I was not watching TV then. But now, at the same token, I used to watch, uh, which I think it was at around the same time, like the early 90s, uh, Bruce Campbell at uh, Briscoe County. I thought that was a great show. I thought that was so well done. I don't know if it holds up. I haven't seen it since it was on. Uh, it's a base Ventress. It's either... Zero, 03 or 83 I can't tell I'm not sure if there was anything that he did that I haven't liked another gold six eyes and our gold is IG-88. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know that. <coughs> Blue Sabe. 
and a droid. But those shows from the 80s, you know, like you said, if they were ever to come on, I think I'd be afraid to watch some of them because they're going to suck too much. A Greedo base, and we got an orange of Bosque. And real Bosque, not cartoony Bosque. Like, I think on one of those channels, Remington Steel is on. Used to watch that with Pierce Brosnan. Saw and Han Solo. There was one of the other shows that was a real pile of crap that I saw again that, you know, I wished I hadn't. Chancellor Palpatine and a droid. It was either Manimal or it was Auto Man. I don't remember which one, but I had seen it again and I just, I just couldn't believe that I ever watched it. But when we were kids, I don't know, we watched everything. I, I couldn't tell you why. I mean, I don't remember. I remember being outside all the time and somehow being able to watch every TV show that was on. A blue Praetorian Guard and a droid. Yeah. But I remember uh, it was Remington Steel and then uh, Green Tessic, Clone Trooper. Uh, do you guys remember uh, Matt Houston? Misfits of Science. That doesn't ring a bell. Is that in that same time frame? And was it on a, a major network? Uh, Bistan and Lando. Darth Vader, just a base refractor, and a droid. Yeah, I always had heard that story that there was like a contract that he couldn't get out of. Sketch again. Uh, base uh, Pondababa. Yeah, that name doesn't ring a bell. Uh, Falthina. Another black and white sketch here. Uh, hmm. Don't know. <laughs> Whoa. Show you the signature. If it ever focuses. Not a bad one. Like there's a seam maybe I'm just seeing things but if you follow let me see if I can get this to focus again look at that line right there goes up his chin and into his mouth and I guess I was trying to do it like a shadow our non-medallion box. I'm going to take the tops off assuming that they're the hits. Alright, so back to our TV. Uh, let's 
see a green IG88 and Quay Tolsite. Uh, what are this other shows? Okay, Man, Nighthawk? Is that the one with the guy? He was a cop and then at night, it was like Night Rider but a motorcycle. Blue Aura Sing and a droid. And it's just, talking about Jake and the Fat Man. Do you remember, uh, oh, what was the one? It was Green Kadel Co. Conics and Base Refractor of Kui Oh, Street Hawk. There you go. Something, I'm pretty sure it had Fox in the title. And it was, uh, an old-time actor from like the 60s and 70s. Uh, two Tubes and Amon Grem. Ah, uh, Dukes of Hazard. They could jump anything and their car never broke. Luke Skywalker, Base Refractor, and a Droid. Yeah, never watched Rise, but Wise Guy. <clears throat> Same time frame, though. I, I remember liking the Equalizer with the old English guy. Here's a gold of Chief Chirpa, Rio Durant. No, it definitely seems like it. I feel like I've got ten times as many golds already. Blue Chief Chirpa and a droid. Crazy like a fox? It was a... Uh... <coughs> Uh, Logan, you, you would, who's the, who's the actor from uh, Ghostbusters Two, the one that got taken over by uh, Vigo? Uh, orange of Savage Opris. Well, I know we only had two oranges in the first case, so this would make three. But it was, I think it was that guy, and then the one older actor, and they used to go and solve mysteries of some kind. Oh, Simon and Simon. How about that one? Galen Urso and Dryden Voss. And the Rockford Files. That show was awesome. With James Garner. Bosk and a droid. All right. Should we save these two hit packs? TJ Hooker was campy beyond campy. I just like how... Uh, I think it was when William Shatner was on uh, Saturday Night Live one time. I just remember seeing... I remember a skit... Ugh, God. Base Refractor of uh, Finn. Where he would jump onto... A, he would always jump onto the hood of a car. Base Autograph. Jerome Blake. That's two base autographs in this case. And they both suck. So that means this should be a sketch. Senator. Yep. This is a black and white sketch day. And we got Dan Turrell. The Dengar sketch. I swear, Star Wars, except for, what was that, 2016 tech, Star Wars hates me.
base Luke um, for the hilt 24 of 99 <clears throat> you know what that means uh we're only going to have six medallions in this case. I mean, assuming that there's still one in that last box. Here's another gold. Gold of Hondo. <coughs> in, uh, <coughs> in the first case, it was the third or the fourth one down. In this case, they've all been on top. So I just take the top pack off and save it for last. So the two cases have been different, but they're consistent within the case themselves. There's a blue, and there's a droid. There's a green of Maz, and a base of uh, Poggle. You guys remember, uh, what's it called? Riptide? It's like three guys on a speedboat. Bodie and six eyes. Young Boba Fett and a droid. Solo a blue of Yoda and a droid. Ah, uh, with the Vicky the robot. Yep. There's our first red, I believe. It is Bo Catton Crizzy. Three of five. Oh, Mr. Belvedere. I love that show. With Wesley. He was such an ass, that little kid. And Bob Euchre. Mr. Belvedere, I think, used to come on after uh, um, Growing Pains. General Organa, base refractor, and a droid. <laughs> you know what, Russell? It's funny because <coughs> my mom is the same way. And it's we only remember stuff if it's useless. At least we finally got a decent autograph. Uh, General Veers. I believe this is one of the prime autographs. Uh, 7 of 10, Mads Mickelson. And we slide on up. Rogue One autograph checklist. Black, numbered out of 10. So there you go. At least we got a decent autograph. Yeah, 
but I, I can only remember useless information. That is just the way it goes. So I'm only good for playing Trivial Pursuit. Then ask me something important, not a chance. There's a orange, oh, there's a General Hux orange Kylo Ren. That one's cool. Right, yeah, I caught that after I, I said it. There's Amelia Clark. Blue, Mace Windu, and a droid. Another gold. Gold range trooper from the solo inserts. Yeah, what's this? Imperial Guard base refractor. K2SO and this Falthina. Tarkin base and a droid. You know, I'm not sure what we might have had more in. Yeah. Yeah, that's the worst because everybody else in my family hates trivia. Mimbin Stormtrooper. So I'm not sure, it definitely feels like we've got more parallels, and I mean, until I actually sort them out to list them, I'm not going to know. A blue Tebow, Tim Tebow, and a droid, but the stack of base cards, this case actually looks like it's going to have more base cards by, by a couple. Green of Hera Sindula and base Maz. I mean, maybe they're about the same, but it looks like there might be about five or ten extra cards in this case for, for the base. Admiral Radis and Val. Droid card. Oh, please don't be a dud. Please don't be crap. Please don't be crap. It's a die cut sketch. And eh, it's not that good. <laughs> Base refractor of Chopper. Trent Westbrook. Now, somebody, I saw somebody pulled a, a Stranger Things sketch by him. And does anybody know why he puts 2023 for the date? At least I'm assuming that's the date. But...
very dark because he colored in the the space he didn't use so oh you know what I'm sorry we did get seven uh, hilts I, I have one off on the wrong side here I put one over here my bad one two three yeah Okay, so uh, that is it for case two. Case two was much better than case one, but still, uh, we didn't get any any one of ones. Um, the uh, sketches were better. The autographs. Um, I mean, there was only four of them. We got one, two, three, five. Wait a minute, how is that right? One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, because it's an eight box case. I was thinking it was a twelve box case. So we got, so we got nine. Uh, five sketches, four autographs. Mads Mickelson is by far the best autograph in, in both cases, and then uh, Hermione Corfield. Um, after that, you know, unfortunately, our autographs weren't all that good. Um, I will try and get these scans done in the morning. It's already midnight here, and I got to get to bed and get up for work in the morning. And then I will sort and get all that stuff up as quickly as I can. But uh, please be patient with me on this one, just so uh, I'll, I'll definitely do it, you know, over the weekend at the latest so uh <coughs> if you think you might be taking a parallel lot or something like that i would just suggest you wait there won't be any rush i'm not gonna can't start a clock if i don't have all the contents listed up so thanks for the break thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one